It all started in Hong Kong at the Chase Compton Advertising Company. I was sitting at my typewriter, much like this typewriter. Well, actually, it wasn't electric, it was manual. Chiquita brought in the mail. I remember it so clearly. It was a letter from Marshall, luring me back to the United States with plans of writing a movie called Lunch Wagon. Little did I know then that we would be immortalizing lunch wagons forever. Yes, I'm very, very pleased to be able, on behalf of Mayor Tom Bradley of the City of Los Angeles, to proclaim today, September 1st, 1981, as Lunch Wagon Day here in the City of Los Angeles. Thank you. And what's all the fuss about? Lunch Wagon Day. Here we are on Hollywood and La Brea, along with the uh, rehearsing Hollywood High School cheerleaders for the um, Catercraft Lunch Wagon Parade. Here we go. Um, executive producer of Lunch Wagon. Now, uh, how do you feel about this parade? Oh, I'm very excited about it. I think it's absolutely wonderful. It's probably the first time any independent company has ever done anything like this. Really? Really. Oh. I mean, you know, we have probably 75 or 80 lunch wagons. We've got uh, stuntmen. We've got a, a marching band. We've got uh, cheerleaders. We've got the stars of the movie. We've got the writers. We've got everybody. <laughs> And it really is wonderful. Everybody in the film business is talking about us. They can't believe that a, a little company like ours can do more than the big majors can do. It is amazing. Yes. <laughs> well, we're all excited. How about the Playboy Bunnies? Are they Aren't here? Aren't they adorable? Yeah. Have we you seen them seen yet? Them. No, oh, they're right. here. They're here, but unfortunately, they're chaperoned by a most gorgeous girl you've ever seen. <laughs> it's truly exciting. Oh, good. Yes. Now, I hope that the picture opens very well, which I'm sure it will. And uh, we've got about 75 or 80 theaters in Southern California oh, opening today. Oh, my God. And uh, so I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to be very good. It's a major event, and I agree major with you, event. it will be good. Good, and That's... I hope you write another picture oh, for us. Oh, here's Mark Bordy. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Mark, hi. Would you like to, how do you feel about the Lunch Wagon Day Parade? I'm ready for it. I've been looking forward for this for two years, and here we go, and I'm ready for it. How did you do it? I hired a good PR person, uh -huh. and we put it all together because this is showbiz. Uh -huh. That's it, That's it. with a lot of help from a lot of people. So, have you been chaperoning the Playboy bunnies? Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> we can't find them. Well, I'll give away a trade secret. I just met them for the first time about two minutes ago. Oh, where are they? They're going to be riding in a beautiful 450SL giving out lunch wagon t-shirts. Oh, wonderful. Can we get one? Uh, well, if you play your cards right. <laughs> okay. I know the writers. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Lunch wagon playing with private lessons and polyester across the street. Well, I've been waiting forever in line. As you can see, it's pretty crowded here. It must be the excitement of the parade. <laughs>
film called Seven Minutes to Armageddon about nuclear terrorism. Anybody interested in throwing in a couple of hundred thousand dollars at 20 million at the box office? These are the men to talk to. Yeah. Okay. These are some of the investors. This is uh, Deborah Sano, the future oh, star. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And future star. Okay. Present Great. Dancer. Yeah. And this is Bob, Bob Suchel and his friend Diane, Grant. also an investor. Okay. Yeah. Can you see the movie now? Yeah. Are, we? are you kidding? We wouldn't yeah. miss it. <laughs> <laughs> waiting an hour now. They're giving out smell-o-vision cards for lunch. We're in theater number one, the big theater. Oh, better get my money out. It starts soon. Better hurry up. Hi. One for lunch wagon, please. I'm sorry, we're sold out. <laughs> OK, well, maybe tomorrow night. Well, there you have it. From Hong Kong to Hollywood. That's showbiz 